Hey guys, welcome to another edition of SellMyComicBooks.com Vintage Comic Book Unboxing. And today we got three, three comic book guys that are going to get involved in opening this box. We got Sean over here. Who's, uh, who's normally Sorry, doing the camera, <laughs> and Duke, who's behind the camera today, and so. I'm here just waving so you know I'm real. <laughs> you know, he's not a, he's not a, a, a robot or a cyborg. Well, I guess you wouldn't be able to tell just from his hands. He does have a mechanical leg, I'm just kidding. Anyway, we got a, an interesting box here today. It's a, um, yeah, it's a, it's a, a coffee pot. Okay, no, it's not really a coffee. coffee pot. <laughs> it's uh, this is this is a this is a good representation of how you do not pack comic well, look books. Look at this right here. Not I mean, the bottom piece. Like the the look, yeah, look at the bottom. I mean, this don't do this. You know, you want to treat your books better than this. Um, even even if you're selling them, I mean, you want them to uh, arrive in the condition that you ship them. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna stop talking. Let's just get right into it. And Duke, that's your cue to like come around here and get in the action. Oh, I should have started over here at the beginning just so we could see Sean's beautiful face. <laughs> <laughs> see his expression of wow when you open that box. All right, well, it's uh, all undergrounds. Actually, does Sean have a microphone? Is anyone even going to be able to hear? Uh, him? Hit, it, the sound isn't as good. We're we're in the process. We're we're working on getting a a three microphone setup, but you know we haven't gotten there yet. It's a, it's a, it's a low-budget um, B-film right now. Oh, it looks shot, like it's... Here, you want to pull... Screen queen. Oh, there we go. Screen queen. <laughs> All right. This is uh, an interesting way of packing books. It's not my preferred method, but... Now we have a list there. Okay, I'm going to... We'll get that later to make sure it's all there. Well, look at this. Uh, they're not even in really... in. Bubble wrap bundles, they're just in bags. Yeah, this is not not ideal shipping. No. But we won't ship the books like that to you. No, we won't. I mean, how could they even buy books from us, Sean? They could buy it in a variety of places. So many <laughs> places, I, I fear I will forget some. You can buy them from sellmycomicbooks.com. You can buy them from .com comics and collectibles.com, or is it just no. .com comics .com. .com comics .com. .com comics .com. You can buy them on eBay. You can buy them... Where else can they buy them? I feel like there's more. You can come to the actual store. You can actually come to the store in Freeport, Maine, and buy comic books from us. Yes, you can. And the address in Freeport is? 136 Main Street. And if they want to search for eBay, what's the username? It's .com comics. There you go. All right. Come around here, Duke, so you can get a better view of the, the books. So these look to be in pretty nice shape. That's a above average condition. I mean, surprisingly, how they were packed. Yeah, I know, right? They 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 survived. I mean, I'm I'm not seeing anything that makes me think that it's new damage. Whoops. <laughs> what? When I was taking off my glasses, my hand wandered, so <laughs> they were looking at those nice boxes over there. <laughs> but you've got Amazing Adventures 1 and 2 there, and uh, for anyone who doesn't know, Three. that is some really nice Gene Colan art on the uh, Black Widow feature in uh, that series. See, that's why we keep Duke around. He, he knows all this stuff. Oh, Spidey's all you can't... Oh, man. Can't go wrong with Spidey. Can't go wrong with Spidey. Man, these are nice. Annual six. That's a big book. That's the yeah, first sinister, sinister six. No, I think that's annual, annual one. one. Oh, six is a reprint of annual one. Oh, six, really? I think so. That that sounds right. Yeah. I know they definitely have annuals reprinting annuals. See, oh. I know everything. I just can't remember it all at once. That's lame. <laughs> annuals reprinting annuals. I mean, and there's other annuals that reprint other just normal issues. More, it's more nice spice. Lizard this is my appearance. First time being Carol, man, so I should probably zoom out here a little bit. <laughs> They'll learn to appreciate my subpar camera. Work. Oh, <laughs> first, first prowler. All right, Hobby Brown. Oh, that's nice. Seventy-nine, eighty. All right, first kangaroo. That's way cooler than the prowler. <laughs> oh, is it? I think so. <laughs> yeah, he didn't last very long. I think he died in one twenty-six or something. Yeah, he didn't last very he, long. The kangaroo didn't prove very popular. He? Oh, they killed him? Yeah. yeah. 
But you can always come back. Yeah, we've had that discussion before, right? Yeah. Oh, first black costume, Black Widow. Oh, you're getting ahead of us. Oh, I'm right sorry. There. I can see go. the other side. Of <laughs> Man, I am very excited about this collection. I love high grade Silver Age books. What would you estimate these are? Because it, obviously it'll be hard for people to tell. Well, here, camera. let's just let's let's uh let's dig a little bit deeper. Let's. I mean, for for books not to be bagged and board, I like when they're double bagged because they they add rigidity to them, so they're more not likely to be high grade. Um, I don't know, man. This is, I mean, it's it's a solid VF. For sure. So it's an eight oh seven five. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I mean. There's yeah. not a lot of spine wear on that. Uh, uh, there's a few spine ticks, but I mean. Not as much as I'm used to seeing. It's probably books. off white to white pages, maybe. I mean, I, I always talk about the snap. They just, they just, you know, they're, just, they're fresh, like really nice books. Someone's going to leave a comment saying that Shaky did just made it from a 7.5 to a 7. <laughs> it's a VG now. Death of George. I, I love our commenters. Annual 7. Oh, the drugs? Is that? No, that's, no. No, that's 96, I think. It's like the there's a few issue. of them. I think it's oh, we're gonna get 6, to the 7, and 8. Like Maybe. Oh, oh no. Astonishing not. Tales. We're right. into Astonishing Tales. Now, Kazar, or Kazar, how do you say it? I say Kazar. I say Kazar, too. I always said Kazar, but it sounds like a sneeze, I guess. <laughs> but those, don't, those aren't as popular uh, on, on the eBay. I don't know why. Because it's Kazar? He, I, he just he saw that one. You would think Dr. Doom. He, he's like Tarzan. Yeah. But there's, if I remember correctly, there's Kirby and there's Barry Windsor Smith and Neil Adams in these issues. Maybe not all of the same book, but in the early Astonishing Tales. No, I love that era of Avengers with the uh, John Buscema art. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, this is good stuff. For sure. That's a, that's a great Ultron cover, too. Yes, it is. Oh, the first uh, Invaders. invaders. Yep. Although I don't know if that's the actual first Invaders. Isn't that one of those things where it was a... First Silver Age Invaders? I mean... Uh, no, I think it was a dream. It was a hoax. It was an imposter. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, well, I think... It, I think... I, I always thought it was... I think the Overstreet still calls it the first Invaders. It may well, but I think it's kind of like the... Um, the first Valkyrie is actually the Enchantress in disguise. The first what? Domino was actually the first poison. Domino is such a pain in the ass. <laughs> is this the first man? <laughs> first is Domino, the, no. This is the first Man Ape. Domino. It's a reprint of the first Man Ape. It looks no, it's no. not a reprint. It's sixty-two is the first one. Oh, sixty-two is okay. So that must be like the second one. Ooh, first. Uh, That's the first Red Wolf. Wolf. I know. I know that one. And his trusty companion Lobo. But not that the little. singer, <laughs> <laughs> not the main man, but the main wolf. Oh, okay. Looks like these are all okay. So that's that's uh, isn't that like this the issue? Yeah. Is that the first Valkyrie? Well, I it's, the, it's, it's the, the first, first Valkyrie, Valkyrie but it's actually it's actually the Enchantress in disguise. I thought Defenders so, Four was the first Valkyrie. Well, it's the first real Valkyrie. Gotcha. Yeah. That's the first appearance of a character who claims to be the Valkyrie and looks like the Valkyrie. She's a, just a different Valkyrie. It's, it's there actually, can be many right. Valkyries, it's, right? It's actually the Enchantress. Here's a good one. What's the first appearance of the Cosmic Cube? Do you I know? I don't know that off the top of my head. I don't either. I don't know. I always thought it was like in a, a Captain America, but maybe it's not. I think it is. I think it's well, in it uh, Tales of Suspense, it, it, I think. Oh, Tales of Suspense, I think you're right. I think. I could be wrong. I think it's oh. like in the late 90s, though. That is the first Falcon. Yeah. And first That's Red Wing. That's a sweet book. And first Red Wing, is that yeah. what you said? No, no one gives Red Wing enough credit. It's always about Falcon. <laughs> Nobody gives enough credit to the um, plunging neckline green costume, either. <laughs> it's, a, it's a bold choice. <laughs> <laughs> plunging neckline. He, he wanted to... Look, he's even, he's even got chains. Yeah. <laughs> he's got bling. Well, yeah, well, I mean, it was, uh, you know, Power Man had his change. It was a, it was a thing. But... <laughs> wow, this is a nice book. That really is. That should almost go to CGC. Oh, no, it definitely is. I, yeah. I'm going to have to go through this collection a little bit closer. I think there's a lot of books that are going to go to CGC in it. 
Uh, this Captain America 116 is not one of them. <laughs> it's kind of low grade. His second appearance. That's his, yep. And that one we see a lot as a single. And Red Wing's second appearance. That's right. <laughs> Red Wings are just as important as Falcons. More Captain America. All right. These are all stuck together. I'm too zoomed. I can't keep up with you. Oh. I'm probably giving the viewers whiplash. <laughs> all right. I think we're going to just blast through these. Okay. Some of those, though. Weren't those some Steranko covers in there? Or, I don't know. That uh, one's a classic cover. Right there. I think the Steranko issues are earlier. You th yeah, yeah. In Cap no, I didn't right. think there was any Steranko issues in Captain America. Yeah, there's a couple of like award There's at least ones. covers. That the one that with that, uh, the, the white background. Grape site and, and the white grape background. Yeah. I thought that was Nick Fury. There's definitely Nick Fury with white, but it's a it, it's a different cover with a white background. Oh, okay. Look, if we're wrong, they'll let us know. They'll, they'll let us know. Us. Yeah. Where they'll go, ooh, I can bid on that because they don't know what they have. <laughs> I Captain, some Marvel. Captain Marvels. So, yeah, uh, for you uh, Carol Danvers fans, there's some early Can Carol Danvers in there. So, you know, both of you. Uh, I'm not a Carol Danvers fan. Did you even see the movie? I did. You did. Ooh, Captain It Smash. wasn't my favorite. She was a bit uh, stiff, but I mean, maybe she's supposed to be. Is that Conan one? That is sure a Conan. Wow, that is a. Holy sh! <laughs> That's a nice Conan one. We're gonna have to take this one out. That was a that was a big big book at one time. That was like the most expensive bronze book for a long time. More expensive than uh, Hulk one eighty one. Well, yeah, in the mid seventies, yeah. uh, late seventies, even into the eighties before. X-Men really took off. Holy crap, man. That's definitely worth certifying. Yeah. This is one of the nicest ones I think we've ever gotten in Raw. I mean, it's got, there's a, I don't know, you probably can be able to see these in the camera, but there's a little crease up there. It's definitely got some edge wear. Um, there's a crease down there. But, I mean, the spine is really nice. Sharp corners. It's a nice book. Show folks the inside a little bit. Oh, okay. Inside artwork. Sure. Because this is Barry Windsor Smith, right? It is. Yep. During his... Uh, this is like his heyday, right? Well, it's during his uh, Jack Kirby days, I think. Well, it's it's definitely... He, he, wanted to be, he wanted to be Jack Kirby? Well, didn't everybody? <laughs> <laughs> True. All right. One of the few books... A really nice number two. Time on too. Oh, Daredevil. Okay. All right, let's... Let's hope it goes down and we get some oh. man. I don't think there's going to be... We're, we're, we're uh, hovering right around the 15 centers. Yeah. You know, Stiltman doesn't get enough love. He doesn't. God, how many Thank times you, do we have Duke. to talk about Stiltman? And tell people he's give like him in the, the respect We, we talked about Stiltman in every video. He's awesome. He should be in the next Daredevil movie. He Stiltman should. is dead. The Punisher killed him. No. Well. I don't care. He can come... Oh! Back. There we go. Look how great Look of a that. cover that is. Yes. How could you not love Stiltman? Look at that. I don't see how like a guy with stilts would help you robbing banks. Banks aren't it on doesn't. the upper floors; they're on the lower. It's on the first floor. Do you know what would make a great Marvel DC crossover? Get this: Stilt Man versus Kite Man. You know what? <laughs> you know what I want to do is I want to see a new villain that's the descendant of Stilt Man and Leapfrog. So it's a stilted leap character. That would be the coolest thing. What would to you me. call him, like Spring Frog? Or? or I'd call him Stilt Legs or oh, stilt, like... stilt Frog or something like stilt that. Stilt Frog. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, carrying this, on. This, froggy uh, this excellent commentary is why people watch these. Oh, this is this is this is what I want. It's not about the books. It's about us being stupid. <laughs> I'm glad to know my stupidity is amusing for someone. You could monetize my stupidity, please. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're uh, on from Daredevil into. Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange. Not a lot of Doctor Strange. Which surprisingly yeah. did not last long after the uh, after the Strange Tales split. Yeah, I know. It didn't, did it? Actually, Nick Fury didn't last. Fury or Fury? F Fury. Fury. 
Did you say furry? I guess I did. Nick Furry? <laughs> Make a good funny animal character. There's another one, Peter Porker versus Nick, Nick Fury. Nick, um, no, Nick Furry. furry. <laughs> Nick Furry, yeah. Peter Porker versus Nick Furry. Hmm. There's some nice books in here. Who's hairier though, Nick Furry or Wolverine? Oh, Wolverine. <laughs> Even though it's Nick Furry? Well, he doesn't exist. He has to. <laughs> he exists in my imagination now. Whether I want him to or not. So these are all kind of what later run. Uh, yeah, these later are like Stanley, Jet Kirby, or early Fantastic Bronze, Four. Fantastic Four, Fifteen Centers. But very nice Fifteen Centers. I mean, there might be. I mean, I'm. There's some. I bet you there's some near mint books in here. So surprisingly, the way the package was packed, these books came through okay. Yeah, they did. And this is a guy we've bought from multiple times. Does he always send them in a coffee? No, no, normally they're packed better than this. This is probably like the fifth or sixth time we bought books, books from him. So anyway, that's it guys. All right, well, thanks for wasting another 15 minutes with us. As I don't know if it was 15 minutes, but anyway, as always, uh, check us out on Facebook at SBC or SBMC. SMC. SMCB. Wait, what, what, is, what is our Facebook? Sell my, Sell comic, my book. comic books. So S. -M -C -B, I don't think that's it though. Right? It, it, I think it's smcomicbooks.com. Or anyway, I'm totally butchering this. <laughs> Are you still pointing at it? I am. Oh, you are? I'm cutting off the top of your head a little bit. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, all right. I could be like my mother and do like, you know, across the... the <laughs> all right, well, just check us... Actually, we'll fix it. You know, put the correct address on the screen. Check us out on Facebook. Check us out on eBay at uh, .com Comics. Check us out on the web at sellmycomicbooks.com and .com Comics .com. Till next time, peace. All right. <laughs> Is that your thing? That's my thing. <laughs> <laughs>